New London Fire Chief Raymond Reed says rescue crews spent the first 45 minutes after the accident trying to get Katie Lentz out of this car to no avail Sunday morning shortly after 9 a.m. The metal on this older model Mercedes dulled the department's equipment. The materials it was constructed of were probably uh, better than what how cars are constructed today. It was a very well-built car and when you compact materials like that one was compacted they become even stronger because you're cutting through multiple things instead of just one layer. About an hour into the rescue, Katie told rescue workers she'd like to pray out loud with them. That's when a priest appeared out of nowhere. He came up and approached the patient and, and did offer a prayer. It was a Catholic priest and he had uh, anointing oil with him and a sense of, of calmness come over her then even more so than what she had been already. And, uh, and it did us as well. I can't be for certain what who said or how it was said or where it come from, but myself and one of one of the other firefighters that was uh, beside me, um, we, we very plainly heard that that we should remain calm, that uh, our tools would would now work and that we would get her out of that vehicle. The Hannibal Fire Department showed up right after that prayer with fresh equipment and was able to finish the extrication. After getting Katie safely into the air evac helicopter, at least a dozen of the rescue workers turned around to thank the priest who was nowhere in sight. The highway had been blocked for a quarter of a mile during the hour and a half rescue, leaving no bystanders or no parked cars nearby. Lentz's family and friends are amazed by the story. Where did this guy come from? We we're looking for the priest. You know, whether it was just a, a, a priest as an angel, serving as an angel, or an actual angel that came in uh, and, and wearing the, uh, the priestly attire, um, he was an angel to, to all those and to Katie. We just would like to find this gentleman and be able to uh, thank him. As a first responder, uh, you don't know what you're going to run into. Everything is a case-by-case -case basis, everything that we've come across. We have a lot of tools that allow us to do many things and we have extensive training. In this particular case, it is my, my feeling that it was nothing more than sheer faith and nothing short of a miracle 